Hello, my name is Jordan Wolf, and this is my protein actin um, presentation. Um, we just have the overall structure um, and process of actin in the back. And okay, so the role of actin, um, we have the ribbon model right here, and that's where it's comprised, compromised comprised into four um, subdomains. And then we have the fold, um, the ADP, and then the N-terminus and uh, D-terminus in um, subdomain four. So um, actin is a player in many cellular functions. Um, it partakes in the greatest protein-to-protein -protein interactions than any other protein, um, and it has the ability for protein to the protein to transition between G-actin and F-actin, monomeric and filamentous, um, those states. And it has the ability to range in cell motility and ma maintain cell shape regulation as well as the polarity of the cell. Um, all the way to managing um, transcription. It polymerizes to form thin flexible fibers called actin filaments and microfilaments. So the actin is the main cytoskeletal protein um, and it is very abundant in eukaryotic cells. Um, it's regulated by actin acted binding proteins um, and these networks are called the cell cortex um, can be formed by cross-linking as well as the assembly and disassembly of the actin filaments association with other cells within the cell um, and that's where the cell is supported by an internal structure called the cytoskeleton. Um, the actin filaments as I just mentioned they're forming those networks um, to determine the cell shape and the mechanical support and allowing the movement of the surface of the cell, um, which gives rise to the cell to migrate, divide, and engulf. Microtubules, actin filaments, and intermediate um, filaments make up the structure of the cytoskeleton and RNA transcription and processing as well as nuclear transport and remodeling of the chromatin have all been linked to actin binding and actin related proteins in the nucleus. So actin is regulated mainly by protein to protein interactions and it appears as a relatively flat two lobed molecule with a nucleotide and divalent cation bound in the central cleft between the two lobes. So the blue part is the cleft, um, some call it a hinge or a fold. Um, and uh, the actin interacts with itself um, to form the F-actin filaments and the F-actin carries out the cellular function and is formed by a helix where the monomeric G-actin molecules polymerize in a line. So that happens in the middle where the blue part is. Um, actin is present in many organisms ranging from invertebrates to vertebrate animals, fungi, protists, plants, etc. cetera. Um, the most conserved protein in the eukaryotic evolution and is the key element in microfilament system in all eukaryotic cells. Actin is the main component for the basic tasks such as intercellular transport, cell crawling, muscle contractions, and cytokinesis. Actin expresses itself through three main isoforms in vertebrates, which include include the B, beta, and Y isoforms. Those are in the muscle and non-muscle cells, as well as the alpha isoforms, which are um, of smooth skeletal and cardiac muscles. Um, eukaryotic cells, actin makes up 5% of protein within the cell and around 25% of muscle proteins. So this is actually um, a, um, just a representation of an animal um, where actin is present. Um, and it's just giving you like the cell cortex, like we talked about the cytokinetic ring um, and all of that. And that's where it's happening. Um, 
and actin is um, the actin skeleton plays a huge role in supporting spermatogenesis and mammalian testes, um, and that's recently being um, still explored as to how it uh, the structure and it functions. So actin has four subdomains like we talked about. They're made up of amino acids. The primary structure, um, it's the alignment of the primary structure that shows the different parts. Um, and that is more likely to vary than others. And it can help determine molecule interactions and filament assembly. Um, and it consists of six actin isoforms in the cytoplasmic beta and why actin differ in sequence. Um, these pictures right here are just um, examples of some um, structures that can be made of the ribbon molecules. Um, the secondary is where all of the G-actin structures are resolved um, by refinement and modeling take place in these structures. Um, as the alpha helix and B structures and loops. Then we have the tertiary, um, which uses the alpha skeletal muscle actin DNA one complex. Um, and that is determined to show minor differences in structure by the alpha actin gelsin segment one, and then the B actin, the profilin at the interfaces with the actin binding proteins. Then we have the quaternary and it's kind of, it relates to the secondary where the C-terminal is located consisting of the helix bound to the actin um, subdomains two and four because they uh, go as one. Um, and their terminal helixes block monomer additions to the barbed and pointed ends of the actin monomers which are on opposite ends of each other. And then this is my citation, um, and that is my presentation on the protein actin and how it functions within a cell. Thank you.